Leah from EOYDC. We miss you so much and I want to send you a big hug from all of us at EOYDC to you. I hope that you're doing really well and that you're remembering to wash your hands. That's always going to be very, very important. All right, so for today's story, we're going to read a book called I Love My Hair, written by Natasha Anastasia Tartley and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair, but sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out Mama, stop, I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head full of hair, Kiana, she asks. I shake my head no, because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp the way we plant seeds in our garden, then wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clickety, clackety, milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clicky, clacky. Music my hair makes just for me. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants, to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. Once when I wore it to school, the kids at school teased me, but my head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an Afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed. So let the world know that they were proud of who they were and where they came from. I love my hair because it is as thick as a forest, as soft as candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky, and climbing towards outer space. Today I am wearing it in my favorite style of all. Two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just may take off and fly. The end. What's your favorite hairstyle? Do you like to wear it really short? Do you like to wear braids? Do you like to wear pigtails? Do you like to wear twists? Or do you like to just wear it out and free? I would love to hear about it. So take a few minutes to write or draw a picture and you can send it to Miss Sharon and then you'll be entered into a contest. And what is the prize? It's a surprise. You can ask a girl to help you. And at the very end of this video, a screen will pop up with some instructions. All right, well, know that we miss you, we love you, and we can't wait to see you soon. Bye.